How to make a parametric curved rectangular slats. Let's start. Go to file. Okay. Let's create a new family. Go to metric and select the generic model pattern base. Open. <clears throat> select the grid change the horizontal and vertical spacing to 2000 millimeter okay next select reference point select draw on work plane then set work plane set and pick reference point set work plane pick and pick reference point set work plane pick the work plane set reference point set work plane pick pick reference point cancel the command select all Go to filter, check none, check reference point, okay. Go to offset, pick the button. Let's create a new parameter. Uh, let's name it offset. Okay, okay. Go to family types. Let's change the value of offset to 1,500 millimeter. Okay. Next, select these two reference point. <coughs> Spline through points. Check reference line. Select these two reference point. Spline through points check reference line okay next select this two reference point spline through points check reference line select this two reference point spline through points check reference line select this two reference point spline through points Check reference line. Select these two reference point. Spline through points. Check reference line. Okay. Select reference point. Okay. Pick at reference line. Make sure we select the draw on piece. Then pick at reference line pick pick and pick okay pick also one here okay pick then one here pick next select these two reference point Spline through points, check reference line. Select these two reference point. Spline through points, check reference line. Next, select this reference point. Go to normalize curve parameter. Pick the button. Create a new parameter. Let's name it NCP1. Okay. Okay. Select this reference point. Okay. Uh, let's change the beginning to end. Okay. Now go to normalize curve parameter. Pick the button. And select NCP1. Okay. Next, 
pick uh, select reference point pick here and one here then select this reference point go to normalize curve parameter create new parameter and name it ncp2 <coughs> okay next select the other reference point uh, pick the button create a new parameter uh, select the ncp2 okay now select these two reference point uh, or this four reference point uh, go to normalize curve parameter let's create a new parameter uh, let's type ncp3 okay okay now let's go to family type let's test the parameter uh, ncp1 let's make it 0.4 okay good ncp2 let's make it 0.8 good ncp3 <coughs> okay um, select the spline through points okay pick at this reference point on this reference point this reference point this reference point cancel the command select the spline check reference line okay next select spline through points pick here 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 and one here okay cancel the command select the spline check reference line next select reference point pick somewhere here okay next select rectangle set work plane okay set the work plane next draw the rectangle okay select this line Control tab to select. Let's make this 50 millimeter. Okay. Select this line. Control tab to select. Let's make it 200 millimeter. Okay. Select the rectangle. Check reference line. Next. Select the rectangle and the spline create a form <coughs> okay next select reference point uh, select rectangle set work plane set the work plane and draw a rectangle okay select this line change the dimension to 200 select this line let's make it 50 okay select the rectangle check reference line now select the rectangle and the spline uh, create the form <coughs> okay let's go to family types let's try to change the value of the ncp3 2.7 okay very good it's parametric uh, let's make it 0.8 okay make this point 0.5 okay and CP 
Okay. And uh, let's go to point six. Okay. Nice. Next. Um. Okay. Now let's select the two forms. Let's go to materials, pick the button. Let's create a parameter. Let's name it material finish. Okay, okay. Now go to family types. Let's apply the materials. And let's go to material library. Okay. Select the materials. Uh, Press material library. Let's select the metal paint. Okay. Uh, let's select this red color. Okay. 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 Next. Select this form. Oh no. Uh, let's save the family. Let's save this to the desktop. Let's name this uh, curve rectangular slots save okay make sure you uncheck the shared okay then load this into the project uh, no Okay, now let's go to level 1, let's create a mass, go to massing and site, turn on show mass, okay, select in place mass, mass 3, okay, let's draw a spline through points, okay, let's draw somewhere here. Okay, pick and pick somewhere here. Okay, let's go. let go to 3D. Okay, select the spline. Uh, create a form. Okay, select the top spline. Move up. Okay. Select the surface. Let's divide surface. Change the U grid number to one. Okay. Next, let's apply the pattern. Now, what we did the curved rectangular slots. Select. Okay, now we have the curved rectangular slots, uh, component lip check, okay, you can use both, it depends on your design, okay, so let's orbit the view, okay, Okay, go back to 3D view. Let's select the family control tab to select. 
okay then go to edit type let's change some of the parameter uh, let's change the NCP to 2.95 okay so you have like a curve an arc okay next we can change also the offset so apply 3 meters okay next let's, let's change the NCP one to point three okay okay now you have a penis curve rectangular slats thank you